have like a net that you can use, you can just use this step, okay? It's a step in my garage. Um, the important thing when you're doing this is your technique. It's not about speed. Um, and that's why I say that this exercise, this workout could last anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how quickly you're moving um, and how comfortable you are with your technique. So when we're passing the ball, we wanna make sure that our plant foot is right next to the ball and that our kicking foot is at a 90 degree angle. Yeah, 90 degrees and flat with the ball. And we wanna be hitting the ball in the middle, not low and not high, right in the middle. So that's gonna require our kicking foot to come off the ground. Now, you don't wanna be reaching for the ball, okay? Because as you see, as I reach for this ball, the angle of my foot starts to change to now more 45 degrees. And that's gonna send the ball off on an angle. So in order to make sure that that leg stays 90, it's much easier if this kicking foot is kicking the ball right underneath our hips, right next to that plant foot. That's gonna ensure that our foot doesn't start to turn as we reach out and it stays nice and flat, okay? So 100 one touches look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now notice, I'm not hitting the ball until the ball comes even, yeah, with my plant foot. That's when I'm hitting it. I'm also not leaving my foot planted the whole time and just doing this because if the ball makes a, uh, a wrong turn or if I, if I have to adjust and all my weight is on this foot, I can't adjust. So every time I pass the ball, I'm coming back and lifting up this plant foot just slightly. So I'm constantly rocking back and forth. And if I have to adjust, I can because I'm not weighting this foot. Okay, so when you're doing this part of the workout, it's important to do it slow and make sure that you're hitting the ball straight, hitting it in the same spot every time. You're picking up your planting foot to adjust and that you're not reaching for the ball, okay? so. 100 with the left, 100 with the right. All right, for the juggles, if you can't do them consistently, do them uh, by dropping it. Okay, just like that. The next level up is to kick it, drop it, and kick it. So either one of those will work. You don't want to chase the ball with your foot. So I don't want to try to kick it way up here. I want the ball to be as low to the ground as possible before I kick it. That is going to make sure that I'm the most balanced because the higher your leg gets, the less balanced you are. Yeah. Um, it's also going to ensure the most consistency with my, uh, with my juggles. Okay. It's harder to be more consistent when you're off balance than what it is when you're balanced. So I'm gonna kick it when it's nice and low, when it's starting to drop. And you're gonna do 50 with the right, 50 with the left. Now if this starts to feel good, and you're like, man, I got this one down, try to go for two, yeah? I go one, two, one, two, switch it up, yep, one, two. And just build up from there. That's how you kind of build up your ability to, to do more and more juggles. Now this process is slow, okay? So you gotta be patient. It's going to come, but it's also gonna fluctuate, right? So one week you might have a great 
time juggling, you might be up to five juggles in a row, and then the week after, you might not be able to do any in a row. So don't think that this is supposed to be just linear growth. It's going to do this all the time, and that's going to be for the entire time you train, regardless of what the sport is, it's constantly going to be going up and down. But those up and downs will go up. Does that make sense? You're still going to have dips, but you will constantly be growing the, 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 the more often you do it. Okay, so 50 with the right, 50 with the left, and then a, um, 100 with both of them. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way to 100. And that's the extent of the workout, the daily workout. 101 touches with the right and left foot passing, 50, 50, and then 100 juggling, okay? Now, if you have a wall, if you have a wall or a net like this, you can do what's called half volleys. And a half volley is essentially, I'm kicking the ball like this, right? After it hits the floor, I'm popping it up. Now this is gonna work on your timing and your coordination with the ball. And you're trying to hit it in the same spot every time. The technique is the same as passing on the ground. So you wanna hit the ball flat. You want your plant foot and your kicking foot to be perpendicular to each other. You don't want to be reaching for the ball because again, that's going to start to turn your foot and the ball is not going to go where you want it to go. And then it's just all about timing. And I do 25 to 50 with my left and 25 to 50 with my right. And then I do instep. This is the instep, your, your laces. Same thing with your laces. Now the laces, the laces more than any other drill, it's important that you kick the ball when the ball is under your hips. If you start to reach out when you're doing this with your laces, the ball is gonna go up in the air, okay? Not straight. So it's really important for you to do it when the ball is under your knee and you're just making contact here. Boop, 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 not out here, okay? So it's really underneath my hips here. One, two, three, just back and forth, okay? And that's gonna help with your striking. It's just gonna help with your overall mechanics with the ball. And, and that's it. So I'm gonna put in the description below what the uh, total workout is. And then I'm also gonna include a full workout of me doing it so you guys can see how long it takes. Maybe just get a better idea for what a full session looks like. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna use this net that I have. Um, it's called the skills net. On this side you do volleys or you can get the ball in the air and practice, yeah? The other side is just acts like a wall, okay? So it's just a rebounder. If you can grab one of these, I think this was like 100 bucks, 116 bucks. It's huge, it's really helpful. Um, so, but if not, just use the stoop, uh, the steps in your house here, um, or a wall, if you can find a wall. Um, so anyways, that's all I got for you, and uh, I'll do the full workout now. All right.
So for these, it's important that you lock that foot out. So you're not pulling it up. Just keep it locked out. If it's underneath your knee, it's gonna go right where you want it to go. And again, make sure that after that ball leaves your foot, you're letting up on this plant foot so that you can adjust if it comes back not in the right direction. So that was pretty much it.